Now we're going to demonstrate how to use the Logger Pro video analysis software from Vernier to find the speed of an object going down a ramp. This could be used to find the relationship between speed and anything else such as distance of travel. The one thing you can do to simply estimate speed is you can use the height of the object above the ground as though you were dropping the object. So you could go to the height of the ramp and you could make some pretty simple measurements. We know that gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height and we know that when we drop an object all of that gravitational potential energy is turned into kinetic energy which is one half m v squared. By putting the two things equal to one another mgh is equal to one half m v squared then we can estimate the velocity of the object at the ground. Well you have m on both sides so that cancels then you do a little algebra to it. V squared is equal to 2 GH. Therefore, V is equal to the square root of 2 GH. If you assume that your object was on a ramp that was, say, 50, centimeters high. Well, 50 centimeters is 0 0.5 meters. And we can put that into our equation. The square root of 2 times gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared, times height, 0 0.5 meters. Velocity, as it hits the ground, should therefore be 2 times 9.8 times 0.5 close parentheses approximately 3.1 meters per second as it hits the ground. Now that works perfectly well and it gives you an approximation but the one thing that it definitely does not take into account is the idea that there will be friction between the vehicle and the surface of the ramp and that friction will slow it down. So it is highly unlikely that here at the bottom of the ramp the velocity will actually be 3.1 meters per second. You can however use a video camera and some software from Vernier called Logger Pro to figure out approximately what that speed actually is. This is the Logger Pro screen. You have previously shot some video of your system which you now need to bring into the Logger Pro dialog box. So find your movie. which for me is ramp velocity. And there we are. Now, there's my movie. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this data from this movie into Logger Pro so that I can then manipulate it. So let's play it forward to the point where the vehicle begins to roll down the ramp. Okay. Now with Logger Pro, you can back up just to the point where everything starts frame by frame. Using this command here you open up a series of dialog boxes on this or excuse me radio buttons on the side. You can for instance set a scale. I have centimeter graph paper behind my system so I can put one point there and the other point at the bottom there. Let that go and tell the software that that distance is 10 centimeters. 
After that, it's pretty simple. That is the add a point radio button right there. So I simply click in the middle of the Diablo, rolling down the ramp. And every time I do so, it moves the video forward one frame. And as we know, you go further and further with each frame. Actually, this is a lot easier to do on a computer screen than it is at a Promethean board. But we will make do. And let's call this one our last value. Now, you can already see that the program is generating data there behind you. You've got X and Y um, position and velocity is already being generated. But what we really need to do is we need to tell the program what to consider as the origin. So we'll go here to the beginning and we'll set that as our origin. Now notice that because my ramp was not a very good ramp, just a couple of pieces of cardboard, it bent in the middle. If you need to rotate your origin, you can. See, you can rotate it by whatever degree that you wish to. So I'm going to rotate that down just a little bit. All right. Now, one other thing that you can do, if you wish to, is you can use the program to actually make some measurements for you. That's photo distance. So for instance, I can estimate the distance from the top of the ramp to the tabletop as 13.7 centimeters. Now, of course, I would have measured that in real life, so I don't really need that. Now, what I'm really interested in, actually, at the end of the day, I'm interested in what is the speed of this thing when it leaves the ramp. So I'm going to basically be looking at what is the velocity at this point right there. Now, if I go back to the graph, I can choose whatever I want. And since what I want is the velocity on the x-axis, I can choose it there. At this point, I can do a number of things. You can see that the velocity is steadily increasing in a negative way. That's simply because I set my origin to the right. But it seems pretty clear to me at this point that if I remove the annotations and the objects, it's pretty clear to me at this point that this cluster of points down here is probably a pretty good estimation of my velocity. Now, I can get those directly from the software by simply hovering over them. Apparently that's not going to work for me right now. Oh yes it is. You can see down here, you can see it change as I hover. So my velocity is approximately 90 centimeters per second at that point. Not a bad estimation of velocity for a pretty simple system.